Well, real quick, showing you how to use our uh, online app for giving, not just the online portal. So, the first thing you're going to be doing is you're going to be going to your Play Store or your iTunes Store, depending on whichever you have an iPhone or a Samsung or whatever, you're going to go to your App Store, and you're going to search for Easy Type, and it will bring up Easy Type Giving, and you're going to go there. And as you can see, that's the icon you're going to be looking for, is that blue with the white church in the background. You're going to download that, and when that app is open, or once that app is downloaded, it will pop up on your phone, and you can bring it up. Once you, can, once you bring it up, you're going to find yourself on this page right here. And there's a couple of different options for finding our church. For, first, you can search for Olive Branch Baptist. Search that way. And, of course, it will bring up Olive Branch Baptist Church. Or, if you want, you can search by zip code 42413. And it'll still bring up the church. So, now it'll come up and it's going to ask you to log in or, or create an account. Now, if you've been on our online giving already, uh, you already have an account. So, you can go ahead and you can sign in on that. Or, you can click on create an account. It'll take you a few through a quick few quick things. It won't take but a minute to do. Now, I created one just for this earlier for us. And once you've signed in, you're going to find yourself on this page. Now, the first thing that will come up is any giving history that you've done so far. And so, since I just created this, uh, there's obviously no giving, but this will be on here. Uh, you can, if you want to give, then simply that red plus down at the side, uh, down at the bottom, press that and it's going to bring up your information. Here's where you're going to select your payment method. You can add a new payment method. You add your credit card or your bank account. You can put in the amount. You can choose which fund you want to give to right there, and you can choose whether you want it to do a one-time gift or whether you want it to be reoccurring. So if you want it to do monthly, uh, it will be monthly. If you want to choose it for uh, a certain amount, you can set what date you want it to be on. So all that's there. And this right here, the reoccurring tab, if you have set up a reoccurring giving, it will show up on this page right here, and it will show up uh, all the gifts that you're currently re giving right now. So if you've decided you want to give uh, on the 10th of every month as part of your tithe, you can put that on, it'll show up right here. And then, of course, you've got your settings where you can go in and you can ch check out your different payment methods. You can edit your, hit your password. You can edit all that kind of stuff on this page right here. We'll also point out that on this, that in the giving, there will also be the same thing on this app as I just talked about in the other video, that when you bring this up, there will be an option that if you want to add the 2.5% to whatever you're giving. Uh, and again, as I talked about earlier, if you didn't watch that, uh, there's a vendor fee with this as is, there is with any other uh, transaction you're going to do online or with a credit card, there's a vendor fee. Uh, we typically are going to pay for that as the church, but if you would like to pay for that, there will be an option that will pop up, and you can choose to do that as well. If you don't want to do it, it's an option, so you don't have to. That's completely up to you. But anyway, that is the basics of the app. Very easy to use, very user-friendly. If you do have any questions, feel free to contact me and uh, ask any questions. You can email me, you can call me, 